This is an All Ears English podcast episode 1949. Can't commit to future plans? How to affirm the relationship in English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. To get real-time transcripts right on your phone and create your personalized vocabulary list, try the All Ears English app for iOS and Android. Start your seven-day free trial at allearsenglish.com forward slash app. Today, we get a rare glimpse into Michelle's text message streams. How did she respond when a friend invited her to a concert way in the future at a time when she might be traveling? Listen in today to find out what to do when you can't commit to a far in the future event, but need to maintain the connection. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Hey, Michelle, I'm doing well. I've got a bad voice today, but I am on the mic with you. Happy to be here for our listeners. You are committed. Oh, my gosh. I love our show. So (laughs) I'm here. (laughs) Um, So, Lindsay, I have a question. So if somebody asks you about something like months in the future, they're trying to plan something or want to know if you'll be able to come to something, does that ever stress you out? Yeah, that's a hard one, especially because I love to travel and... You know, we travel a lot and I don't want, you know, if you have a big, you stick something right in the middle of when you think you might be traveling, it's really hard to nail that down, but then you don't want to be flaky later and cancel. Right, right. Exactly. So uh, I'm, I mean, maybe this isn't a great trait, but I do get a little nervous making plans for like something that's like three months from now, four months from now, five months from now. And for actually for the same reason in this instance that I'm going to talk about, we're hoping to go away a little bit in the summer and, but we don't have the exact date and I don't know. And I had, I had a situation come up where a friend asked me about going to a concert months and months and months from now, right around the time we might be going away. Uh-huh. So, so I actually I wanted to talk about this on the on the episode because I think it's a very you know common situation people might find themselves in. Like if somebody asks you about something, not just for you know tomorrow or next week right. or something, but right. in the future, um, because you might not know if you'll be available or. Or you might know that you won't be available and then, you know, saying so saying that. So we've done other episodes on this type of situation, but this is going to be a really new, cool episode today. Um, we did uh, episode 673 was how to flake out without losing out on the connection. Um, mm-hmm. And so definitely go and listen to that. We'll give you some other li- episodes to listen to later on. So, um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But what's unique about today's episode, it sounds like we're going to talk about a text message stream that you had today. So guys, you know, what, let me ask you this, Michelle, first, as we analyze this text message stream in English that you sent to your friend, a native speaker, is this uh, words that you would have spoken to, or is it unique to text messaging, would you say? I would say it's a, I'm I'm reading it now as you Mm ask me that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Um, I think, I think. It's unique to texting and it's because there's not as much back and forth. You know, in text messaging, you know, if you have to express something, you might like, you know, when you're talking and I'm telling you, like, if you asked me, if you asked me, oh, do you want to go to this concert with me in June? And I was like, oh, Lindsay, yeah, I'm not sure because I might be going away at that time. And then I might have a lot more things you could say. Right. Is that what you mean? Right. Well, no, I mean, it might be I might wait to hear what you say. I'd say like, oh, really? What are the dates? And then you could say this. And then I'd say like, oh, well, and like. And I, but in a text message, sometimes, especially when you feel a little bad, I don't know if you ever get this way, you get a little bit more wordy, you know, like you give, you know, you give the whole explanation because I didn't want (laughs) to, I don't know. I think in person there would have been maybe um, less said all in one spot. So Right, right. Yeah. If that makes sense. 
Yeah, there's no room for interjection. Yeah, right. it's awkward. Text messaging is awkward. It I is. Mean- <laughs> it is. So yeah. guys, but today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna read you a text message I wrote cool. to my friend. So it's not a whole stream. Um, but I'll tell you like before I wrote this, she said she basically said, "Oh, I mm-hmm. got tell I got you know tickets for this concert. Um, it's in and I, and I said like, oh, when is it? And I think she said in May. And I knew like, I mean to be quite honest, like I don't know if I would have wanted to go to that artist's concert like anyway and like it's you know it's a lot for me to get out and like but I I mean I love my friend it's not her but more so it's that I think we might be planning a, some kind of trip around then so yeah um I'm going to read the exact text that I sent to my friend and we're gonna talk about it and like what our okay. listeners might be able to take from this today so uh should I read it yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. hear it. What'd you say, All right. Michelle? All right, here Bring we us go. into this your texting more... world. Bring us into <laughs> <My> your texting <laughs> world. All right, this is what I said. I said, uh, I wish I could tell you if I could go. Literally today, we were talking about going out of town around this time of year. Obviously not set in stone, but if you have to decide, then I'd probably say I shouldn't book anything. But mm-hmm. I appreciate your thinking of me, and maybe we can find a time to do something else fun. Oh, nice. I like this message. You like it? You think it was positive? Yeah, it doesn't feel (laughs) rejecting. It doesn't feel like she's been rejected, but it's clear. It's confident. Nice job, Michelle. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's hard. It's uh, you know, it's it is hard to express those things, especially because I like my friend. Like it's not, (laughs) of course, you know, of course. Um. So, guys, I want to analyze it. So let's let's go through. So, and I think that these are what what I when I looked at this. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the perfect communicator, but (laughs) from this, I think I could glean, you know, like four basic steps that might be that might be useful if you have to write a text message like this. Okay. So, okay, let's do yeah. it. Yeah, so let's analyze it. So what was the first thing that the first thing? Okay. So the first thing you did, so in terms of what you did, Michelle, yes. you were honest, right? Right. So, and which part of your text message stated that? The fact that you were honest that you really didn't know like you know, you were thinking of going away around that time. Right, 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 right. What so, did you say? I mean, the honesty part is kind of like in a lot of different areas, Everything. I guess. Yeah. Like the whole mm-hmm. thing. The whole thing is just honest. Um, yeah. I said, I wish I could tell you. I mean, I didn't say that I didn't really like the didn't necessarily want to see the artist anyway but like but that's not, not i mean maybe i would have because some every once in a yeah. while i don't know i've i've done it where Spend time I've with gone your friend to, like i've also yeah. done it where i've gone to um like shows of of like musicians that i'm not like huge into and then it's just a fun time so like and then yeah. i've become a fan actually so i was kind right. of like if if i actually knew i could go maybe i would have just if just for fun um Right. So anyway, I said, I wish I could tell you if I could go. So that's honest. I'm saying like, I'm not going to give you a complete answer um, right now. Um, Right. And and I said, literally today we were talking about going out of town around this time of year. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I said, obviously not set. Oh, so this next part is I gave her a plan. Okay. I said, obviously not set in stone. But if you have to decide, then I'd probably say I shouldn't book anything. So okay. th- that that's the plan. It's like, I don't know if she needs to decide right now. If she said to me like, oh, no, sorry, like I, I, I have to buy these tickets now. Like this is like I, yeah. I, I have to do it. Like, you know, so I'm kind of saying like if you have to decide now, like count me out. But if you have yeah. any, any time to yeah. to spare, then yeah. Yeah, you're giving her a sense of like what the stakes are. And, you know, where, where you lie, you're being honest. I love it. And it's interesting that you said, obviously not, Mm -hmm. instead of saying like, this is obviously not set in stone or, Mm -hmm. you know, my plans are obviously not set in stone. You just started the sentence with obviously not set in stone. That's very interesting and native, isn't it? And I think that is very text message. Text. Like, I don't know that I would have said like, I think if I were saying it to you, I might say like, oh, you know, obviously this like yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I, like you know uh right I don't know right. I don't think I would have just said obviously not set in stone that's like a very right. text <laughs> way of saying something <laughs> that's true that's true yeah it's it's interesting that when we write we'll drop things like subjects mm-hmm. but when we speak it would sound kind of like caveman English if we did that right, right. <laughs> yeah it would sound fun. it's so true that's interesting so it is I, interesting. <laughs> I gave her a plan and then what's the third thing I did Okay, you thanked her, right? Mm-hmm. Very nice. I appreciate your thinking of me, right? Mm-hmm. 
Good. And then I told her I'd like to do something another time. So I said, and maybe we can find a time to do something else fun. You you kind of affirmed the relationship is what you did there. I think that's right. great. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. So, so guys, you know, we've <clears throat> talked about, you know, things like this before. Um, so, yeah, we can give you some other episodes to listen to. Yeah. All right. So, Michelle, um, what else did we talk about? Where were those episodes that they could listen to? Okay, so episode 743 is what to say in English if someone invites you out, but you already have plans. And, Good one. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I put this one in there for some reason. I can't remember why, but it's uh, <laughs> one, one, 1334 was how to organize a birthday party in American culture. I think it's because, you know, inviting people and things like yeah. that. I love um, it. I love it. But if it's totally uh, random, then you get to enjoy an episode about birthday parties. <laughs> this is so good. <clears throat> so where are we going to go next here, Michelle, with this new skill here? Okay. So again, this is this skill is more about that long-term future plan. Now, yeah. let's say you know for sure that you can't go, right? Like okay. I had an awkward situation where my friend sent me a save the date Uh-oh. for his wedding. Ooh. Like but I already knew I had a wedding that day and I was the matron of honor. So like that's, Ooh, ooh, that's hard. If like, that's so hard. If you know for sure, especially somebody's wedding and it's like, no, I have to choose this one. Cause like this is, you know, I mean, and they were both good friends of mine. Oh Um, gosh. It's so hard. It's bound to happen though, because most people get married in the summer. Right. You know? Oh, yeah. And, There's yeah. so many. That's wedding season. And like that, mm-hmm. that's the hard one is like you if you know, so we talked about if you not if maybe you could go, maybe I don't know. But then if you definitely can't go, it's in the future. It's hard yeah. to you feel like you're bursting someone's bubble. Yeah. Um, and it, it's hard yeah. too with weddings because you can't really be a maybe with a wedding. Like you have to be a yes or a no. Um, and like you can't kind of delay responding because the couple needs to know you know right right exactly so it's hard to be like oh guess what like my wedding's here and then it's like "Mm, no i definitely can't go to your wedding and (laughs) oh um, yeah yeah. so um i mean what 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 could you say in that situation okay michelle i'm a little lost in our notes here what what could you say (laughs) okay you could say Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, that date. I feel so awful about this, but I'm in my friend's wedding that same day. So I already know I won't be able to make it. I'm so bummed. Right. Yeah, I'm giving you I, examples of things I might say. Right. And I love at the end, I'm so bummed. Right. So you're emphasizing a little bit more that you're really disappointed. Yeah. That's right. Good. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's something that you could say. So um, like, again, these are things for far in the future like yeah. for my my son's birthday okay. i sent my friend to save the date text mm-hmm. and she sent me and now i'm sharing another text message she oh said boy. she said sounds good we might be going on a trip that weekend but didn't get the ticket yet so up in the air again she dropped the subject so it's up in the air so up she said so up in the air she didn't say it's up in the air isn't that interesting? exactly isn't that interesting wow i'm seeing native speakers doing this a lot now in text and i do it too it's really interesting um yeah yeah i think it would be you know good to sometimes bring our text messages on the show and then you can actually see the real way that we're writing and pick up on these patterns that we already picked up on i love it i love it so good all right so now where are we going to go michelle Okay, well, now we're just going to do a couple of role plays. Like, how could you handle these situations? So, guys, again, today's episode, we're sharing text messages. It's kind of like a <laughs> lot of things in this episode. but uh, <laughs> We're going through real text messages. Uh, mm-hmm. We're talking, you know, we picked up on some grammar patterns and text messages. And we're talking about mm-hmm. that awkward situation of, like, s- asking someone or having to say that you don't think you can go to some future plan and how that feels. So, yeah. um, mm-hmm. let's just do a couple and of role plays yeah go ahead no i just i think we're also like at a core level we're talking about aff- how to affirm the relationship mm-hmm. when you can't commit to something right, right michelle i think that's really what this is about like someone invites you to something far in the future yeah you can't be nailed down for that date right, right. and you're honest about it but the thing you're going to do every time is to affirm that you want to spend time with that person right right that you care about them that's the most important thing for today (laughs) so this makes me think of my my mom i remember she she, maybe i talked about this before her friend asked her sent her a text message 
if she could do something. And my mom wrote back, or she was going to write back, oh, um, I can't today, maybe some other time, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and I was like, mom, you uh, like that? That doesn't, that's not going to cut it. And I went through and I like wrote her, te- the, the, wrote oh the text God. message and I sent that's it. because so funny. Right? So that's yes. so like that kind of text, text etiquette here is, etiquette. you know, you have to like, Oh my gosh. I don't know why you laughed because it is funny because you could tell that that just like why why did you laugh? Why was that funny to <laughs> well, you? Well, it's generational gaps in yeah. texting for sure. Yeah. And I think, you know, um our parents generation they're just not used to using text messages at all. Yeah. And I think by by saying that maybe some other time dot 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 it almost sounds like mysterious or passive aggressive or yeah. that she doesn't care but she doesn't intend it to mean that but right. she has to think about how that might come off but maybe if she's t- who is she texting back somebody to somebody her age okay someone her age in that's, that case maybe probably. maybe it's okay maybe i think every generation kind of has their own way of texting mm-hmm. right but i think maybe millennials and gen xers um maybe are i don't, I don't know how to explain this michelle but are more like cons- like kind of tend to the relationship a bit more on text. Right, right, right. So guys, when you are, you know, rejecting a plan, just like always be like, oh, maybe, you know, we can affirm it. Affirm it. I think that's, I think that's the main theme. Um, Do we have time for a couple role plays? Yeah, yeah, let's do, let's do a couple real quick. Maybe we won't go through them. We'll just, just do them and then we'll move on to the takeaway. Here we go. All All right. right. I mean, so, so this could be for, um, you know, a text or, you know, we're talking. So in because it's a role play, we're talking. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lindsay, save the date. My bridal shower is December 6th. I'd love for you to be there. Oh, thanks so much, Michelle. Ooh, that date. I might be in Florida. I'm still arranging the plans. I'll keep you posted. I hope I don't have to miss it. Oh, okay. Let me know. Yeah, tricky, tricky, tricky. That's so hard, especially around weddings. Oh my God, you don't want the mm-hmm. important people to miss your wedding and mm-hmm. people have other plans. That's why we plan so far in advance for our weddings, right? Yeah, so far. So far. <laughs> Some people, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, you want to do the next do one? one more. Sure. Okay. Michelle, would you want to go to this wine festival with me? It's not for a while, October 10th. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, no, October 10th. I definitely can't go. I have a wedding that day. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. Nice. October wedding. Sounds beautiful. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So this is good. So again, affirming the relationship, maintaining it, making sure that the person knows you care about them, um, that you are disappointed that you can't make it. Mm -hmm. Right, Michelle? Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah. What's the takeaway for our listeners? Well, gosh, well, we did a lot of a lot of things. I think the biggest takeaway is, like Lindsay said, affirm the relationship, right? When you are rejecting plans. Today, we went through real life examples that of things that were a long time away. My friend asking me about a concert that's like six months away. Yeah. Um, and we went through text messages. So we went through a little bit of the grammar of text messages and how it might be different than if you're talking. Um, and but guys, the main thing is, you know, if you have to reject a plan, just be honest, right? Um, follow the steps that we talked about. But the most important step is to keep affirming that relationship. Talk about the future, maybe doing something else. Say that you're bummed, you can't be there. So lots of different ways to do that. Exactly. As we always say on the show, connection, not perfection. So always go for the human connection, guys. Think about what is the most important thing this person has to feel after this message exchange, right? Like, uh, you know, once we've, we're done texting and we kind of put our phones down, how does that person have to feel, right? right. That's what you always want to think about and then find the language to make that happen. And Michelle, by the way, thanks for bringing in your messages. That's uh, very, sure. very cool. I love that idea. We should do more of this. Uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I will. You know what? I feel like I should just go through my text messages and get <laughs> ideas through that. Through that. <laughs> yeah, very mm-hmm. cool. All right. Very good stuff. Hopefully on our next episode, my voice will be back. So yes. good stuff all around, Michelle. Feel you better. have a good day. <laughs> Take Thanks. care. Bye. Bye. 
Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.